Today I'm going to be reviewing the Beto Thing ham radio. You can find it on Amazon for about $30 a piece. It's a Chinese made ham radio, but it's also good for uh, entry level users into ham radio or if you just want a, a handset to throw in the truck or, or whatever. Just have an extra one uh, laying around. Comes with the actual handset itself. Comes with a charging base with an LED to tell you when it's charged. Comes with an earpiece and a uh, microphone so that you can communicate hands free. Also comes with a rubber ducky antenna, which is detachable obviously. And it also comes with a little lanyard so that you can strap this onto your backpack if you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the uh, antenna to the radio. You can get aftermarket antennas which are longer, they give you a better uh, transmission than the standard one that comes with it which I can review in a separate video and I'll link to that um, from this video so that you can check that out as well. Okay, so the radio will sit into the carriage like this. It is kind of finicky. Uh, like it has a tendency to lean forward and not sit in there correctly so be careful and make sure that you sit it in there the right way and you'll feel it lock into place. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it with the charger. The earphone and microphone are plugged into a side panel on the radio that pulls open. You pop the uh, dual plug into the side of the radio, like so. And just turn it on and use it normally. You can press this button to to uh, key the radio down, or you can set the radio in its uh, settings to use hands-free, so that it's just voice activated. The radio also comes with a belt clip that you have to install yourself. It has a detachable lithium battery. Uh, which gives it a, a good bit of battery life. I've used this for several hours and never had to recharge it. Um, the radios, uh, depending on line of sight, you know, can get up. I mean, if, if it was clear line of sight, these could probably get up to five to ten miles, just depending on where you're at. If you're in a neighborhood where there's trees and um, buildings and such, one to two miles is what you're looking at here and uh, that's just about as good as you're going to get uh, so don't believe any of the hoopla you hear about 34 miles you know while it may be true in some extreme cases it's not the norm so no but anyway this radio will operate on three different bands gmrs mers murs and ham frequencies so uh, it's important for you to do your homework and know how to use those frequencies and if this radio is compatible and what power usage you should use these radios uh, for those particular frequencies. So I'll leave that up to you to do your homework there. Um, other than that, I'll show you a few features. <clears throat> you can program this radio using an aftermarket software called Chirp. You can download it on the internet, install it on your computer, and it makes programming these devices a lot easier. Um, the manufacturer does ship with a, a CD, which is much harder to use, so I recommend using Chirp, and I'll link to that in the description. So I want to show you a few features of this radio. It has a, uh, an LED on the top of the radio itself, so you can turn it on. There's a button on the side, and you just 
Tap it once. And then tap it again for strobe. And then again for off. Okay. The push and talk button's on the left side of the radio. And it also has an alarm feature on it. You have to hold it down. It has an FM radio feature so that you can hear FM radio as well if, you, if you're into that sort of thing. It's a hassle. But you can also program the names of your channels into the uh, radio itself instead of just using numbers. Like I have GMRS01 for the 01 frequency. And you can go on down the list. And you can also uh, throw in your weather radio. And your EMS and fire department frequencies if you're into that. But uh, that's generally it. I mean, you can get as complicated with these things as you want uh, programming wise. I try to keep it simple. But um, it's a really good radio. I've enjoyed just listening to a lot of the, the ham operators, although I don't have my ham license. Um, a lot of people recommend to get it, but I just I don't have any family members that have a ham license, so it defeats the purpose for me in a way. So we're setting up on GMRS frequencies or MERS frequencies to communicate, and uh, you'll find out that you'll like this a lot better than your traditional Midland walkie-talkie, you know, FRS um, packaged radios that a lot of people use for camping and that sort of thing. Although those are not, those are better than nothing. So check this out. I'm going to put the link to the product in the description of this video. And uh, like I said, usually they're on sale and uh, at a really good buy. So grab one of these and uh, I'll also talk about the, the um, aftermarket antenna in another video.